is every citizen's duty to report treasonous speech and actions. The state depends on you. Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I'd send a servant down there, but they'd die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route. You went down there in the sewers? I thought I heard a weeper in there earlier. You're probably the bravest man I've ever met. Overseer Martin has arrived. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They want to talk to you. Corvo, I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed. You've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journey. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. I know the Cor Golden... Corvo, I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard. Cruel beyond words. Further, my brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent. And as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the city watch, so it'll be dangerous. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. I'll take you to the Golden Cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me.
get you as close as I can to the Golden Cat, Corvo. You'll have to go the rest of the way on your own. The entrance is near Holger Square. The main thing is to make sure that little girl, Emily, gets back all safe and sure. Them two Pendletons are there, so I'm guessing there'll be a lot of guards. Slackjaw might have some ideas on helping you get inside the cat, if he don't kill you. This here's his territory. He and his Bottle Street gang hole up at the old Dunwall Whiskey Factory. They sell the elixir that folks use to fight off the plague. I'll lay low, but keep an eye out for you and the little lady you bring him back. Good luck to you. I know Emily must mean a lot to you. Be careful going up the street, Corvo. A river hand I know pulled up alongside me last night and said there's The, the doom, doom of Pandesia has come, come to the, the city. city. Assassin, help! Firing! Take out his legs! On the outside!
We'll find it. Exciting, but Damn affordable. It. I demand that. I gotta stop chewing. Present that. yourself. Nothing. Don't make me find you. Morgan's on the first floor. I need to get the men in position. The ivory room. All I can tell you is that it's very heavy. I'll leave the rest to your imagination. Cut the thing. mask. Corvo? Corvo, it's you! You're wearing a mask to sneak around, aren't you? They, they, they told me you were head chopped off and in the prison, dead, like, like mother. That seems like a long time ago. But you're not dead. Now we can leave. I have a plan. I almost got away twice. There's a special door to come and go for special people, and I'll show you. And if anyone tries to stop us, you can fight them. It's this way.
locked. Prudence, the old hag. She caught me trying to get away. Now she keeps the key with her. You've got to find the key so we can leave. I'll hide here until you get the key. Did you hear what that little girl did? No. She's cute. Amy or Emily or something. She tried to escape. that nice girl again. The one I told you about. You realize you're at the Golden Cat, right? Yeah, but she's different. She really likes me. <laughs> Idiot. She likes your money, not you. You're just jealous. Shut up. Dunstan, the Pendletons are here. You're supposed to be on duty. Come on. You're supposed to be on guard. You'll get dismissed for sure. I can't believe this. You said you weren't even drunk. Wake up. That's beautiful, honey. Go on with what you were saying, Morgan. And so then, the vote is 43 to 41 against us. The bylaws state that... The Lord Regent's provisional bylaws? That's exactly right. They state that the conservative position gets an extra three votes. But not in the month of timber. Is that true? How on earth do you know that? Did you think I was born a courtesan, Lord Pendleton? I was a clerk to Lord Estermont. Before. What ever happened to old Estermont? The rats did. An old sewer line led under his office in Parliament, and one day it flooded, and they all came rushing out. They say the other lords barricaded him in to save themselves. The screams lasted hours. He begged and called them by name, but they let him die. Who do you want me to be tonight, Lord Pendleton? Anyone you want. The High Overseer for all of us. Guards! For me! You won't stay hidden for long. Got you now! Someone get over here! No! Oh, no. Here you go. This 
place is on the river. Come on. Come to dinner now, that. Who do you want me to be tonight, Lord Pendleton? Damn it! Who are you? Why are you here? Pendleton! Places on the wall. Come on. Come to dinner now, that's right. Well, sweet little bird. to Granny. Granny won't hurt you.
Have you seen it? The handsome one with the beautiful dark eyes. I just want to tell him I'm doing my part. Yes, Granny Rags is doing her part. Tell him, won't you? What was that? Hey, what was that? I know I heard something. Are you both ready to go? Corvo, you must have worked wonders out there in the city tonight. I can't believe my old eyes. So you did the business, did you, Corvo? I'm not one to speak against my betters, mind you, but if anybody ever deserved their fate, it was those Pendletons. What business are you talking about? Oh, I, uh... Grown-up business, girl. I mean, your ladyship. Forgive me. It's okay. I heard a lot of grown-up business at the Golden Cat. Oh. I should concentrate on piloting this boat. Young Lady Emily, I'm Callista. I'll be caring for you and schooling you while you're with us. Pleased to meet you. As am I. Would you like to see your room in the tower? Can I see it? Yes, you may. You'll get to see it all. The entirety of the Hound Pits. Good. I think I'll like it here. I'll go with Callista, Corvo. I'll see you later. You do not fail to impress. Armed with a blade, you've changed the course of the city forever. And with the Pendleton twins gone, our own Lord Pendleton will assume their votes in Parliament. In one night, you've done more than most men do in a lifetime. I need to speak to you soon. But for now, Lord Pendleton requests your attention. Conspiracy thanks you for your work. I don't know if I can. My own brothers. We never believed that you killed the Empress. It made much more sense that the Royal Spy Master, now the Lord Regent, was behind it, aided by some of his key allies. We spent a lot of money and exposed ourselves to great risk in getting you out of prison. But we did it because we believe that you're the one that can make the difference. Oh, and Havelock's looking for you. All right, my friend. Martin's devised our next move. There's a footnote in Campbell's journal that tells us the Lord Regent's mistress sat for a portrait with Sokolov, the painter and royal physician. He'll be able to give us her name. Sokolov lives on Caldwin's Bridge about half the time, out over the river. The catch is that I'm afraid you've got to head out right away while Sokolov is at his apartment on the bridge. Samuel can get you close to the bridge, but you'll have to find Sokolov. 
Bring him back here intact, and it'll enable us to make our next move. I can't believe what you've done so far. Escaping from Coldridge, taking down the High Overseer, recovering Emma. You make this old military man proud. That's it, then. <laughs>